Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So I'm doing review after a long time actually. So I haven't uploaded any videos like last two weeks. So I, I have been busy for these days. I was doing my classes and also exams. So I didn't record any kind of videos. So today I'm going to do actually uh, one ROM review which I have been using like two, three days actually. So last two or three weeks actually I, ha I was using um, Dreadfast ROM which was actually excellent ROM. But to review another ROM, I just flashed this one, but I'm not satisfied with this ROM. Still, the draft first ROM is much better ROM than this. So let's go with this ROM, what we are getting with this ROM and other things. So first of all, um, this ROM is actually not that bad, actually. But it has some issues and it has also some uh, benefits than uh, Dreadfest ROM. Those also I'm going to show you. So first of all, let's see what we are running now. And as you can see, it's running on Android 13 and October 5, 2022 is the security patch level. And other things are here. So this is a reloaded OS, as you can see, it reloaded OS and version depth of view. And as you can see here, reloaded OS, fill the power and version is 13. And it's an official build and GFs build, which is around 1.6 gigabyte. And I'll put the link in the description below. You can download it from there. And as you can see here, like, the maintainers and other things so what's new in this rom actually there is nothing new all the things are same as android 12 and 13 there is nothing new but uh, it has some benefits than the last rom i have reviewed so one of the benefit of this rom is that you are getting uh, have a hotspot option where you can select uh, your band either you can select dual band or 2.4 gigahertz band or 5 gigahertz band is up to you and this is actually i have been asking for the other developers too for a long time like in dreadfest ram is excellent rom but it has no option to select your wi-fi band so it will stuck stick on like 2.4 gigahertz and you cannot do like uh, select 5 gigahertz but in this rom you can select it but I have tried dual band, but I didn't see any kind of like dual band 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. But I only found the 5 gigahertz band. I don't know why it doesn't show. Uh, in my BlackBerry Q10, actually, I I got this kind of dual band feature, and it it, it did work actually. But this ROM, it's not working. Anyway, we have uh, like option to select, so we can select either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz band. Other than that, also we are getting like Xiaomi parts option, which is somewhere here system yeah Xiaomi part so you can calibrate your display and other things it's also here and other thing is that it also got like subtle features I always admire this kind of thing actually so the job has done here is really great as you can see here not much thing are here but what they gave it's actually uh, what do you need so status bar you can see the tap to sleep you can do it for the LTE icon display mode and other things also uh, you can choose your clock position like where you want to do clock and other things and also you can change the battery icon and other things and also percentage and other thing is like if you go to quick settings you can select quick pull down brightness also you can make the brightness here and also you can make it like when you pull it and it will come here in stock rom it doesn't appear here so you can do it from here like brightness button is there auto brightness button or uh, brightness slider qqs so it's there so you are getting this kind of feature with this rom and now i'm going to the notification panel so we can change these icons and you can take individual wi-fi and bluetooth and mobile data option so no problem with that and so now um another thing which uh, i have uh, found like very bad on my previous rom is that the volume buttons appear this side so i couldn't able to figure out how to uh, put it in like right, right side so in this rom it's okay it's in right position uh, where it should be so now about the app and other things so if you can see it's quite smooth actually but the problem is that it sometimes lag and the apps crash like if i open gcam right now let's see you see it's crashed sometimes it does work actually so now it's work but sometimes it crash sometimes it take long time to load the gcam another thing is that although it come with miui cam but it uh, doesn't come with like uh, gcam go which actually um, come with like dreadfest rom which is quite good actually that that because you are getting two cameras like miui and uh, google camera go and also you can install gcam so whatever you like 
and another thing is that so i always do one thing when i flash rom i always uh try to restore the previous apps from my old rom to new rom and this time also i have done that but the problem is that some of the apps didn't restore i tried many times but it didn't restore i don't know why and i need to like install from the play store and and uh, what it set it up against uh, this thing should not be happen actually because we are in the same 13 on android 13 not from 12 to 13 maybe it can cost like if you come 12 to 13 some apps may not come pretty well that's why it didn't don't restore but in this case it is android 13 to 13 so it should restore but it didn't work and about the smoothness of this rom is not that great performance not that great rather than that this is actually quite good rom i haven't seen any kind of other issues so this these are issues battery backup are excellent no issue with that call reception and mobile data everything works fine there is no issue with those kind of things the only problem i have faced it's mostly about the lag and and this is the one thing where i don't really like this rom um maybe i will flash a drift rom again so if you haven't watched the drift rom review you can check it from my uh previous videos and also i will put in the link in the description below you can check it from there and about this rom uh, i will put the uh, rom link in the description below you can download it from there but my suggestion is please don't flash this rom uh, i think it doesn't worth flashing this rom so that's it about rom and other things and another thing is that uh, my channel already completed 1k subscribers so thank you very much for your subscription um i've been doing this actually for a year now although i'm i'm not really uh, uploading videos every day but still um i have completed 1k it's a lot uh, i think it's uh, it's a big thing for me although it's 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 just started so i will try to uh, put now upload videos regularly although i don't really have much time to upload videos nowadays i have to I have to study my own now so that's it about the rom and about my channel so thank you very much for watching this video and thank you very much for subscribing my channel so i will see you in the next so please sabar kara sarakabar sabar kara sarak sarakab